Hey guys, this is Karan from Tech Amigo and this is you Eureka. So this video features about the various pros and cons of the Cyanogen Mod 14 which is running on this device. So I will list out the various pros and cons accordingly which I will tell you whether you should install this Cyanogen Mod 14 in your device and whether it is suitable for your daily travel. So let's get started. Now the first thing here we talk about is the notification panel. Now here you can see the notification panel has, it, has got its own very animation which is pretty much smooth and you will see no lag or shutter lag so whatsoever now you can swipe to the left and you can see another option so you can also edit from uh, the notification panel itself just click on the edit option over here now you can rearrange them by uh, long pressing them and accordingly you can place wherever you want or else you can add another or extra tiles over which so just long press them and drag it over the notification panel so you can see that the option is added over there and just go back from here now you can see the nearby option which was not available first is now available so you can see that the notification toggle is a pretty much uh, a pretty much clean and neat uh, notification toggle which is already installed in android 7 many of the devices like nexus 6p and many of the developer roms so thumbs up for the notification toggle now the next feature I would like to talk about is the multitasking option. Now you can see if we long press this multitask option we will see n number of apps are running in background. Now unlike Note 7 feature or any Note series or Samsung series we can also do multitasking that is we can use two apps simultaneously or at the same time just long press the application drag it up here. Now you can see half of the screen for that application. Now select another application. Now you can see that both the apps can be used simultaneously. So one of the good features that I find in the Cyanogen Mod 14 is the split screen, which, which can be very much handy to many of the peoples around here. Now the next thing is the system tuner option. That, uh, that is not available at the beginning of the installation now you have to enable that system tuner option now you can enable that by long pressing that setting icon over that just click over that and you see the wheel starts rotating and after some time just leave it now you will see remove system you UI tuner from the settings and stop using all of its features so I have already enabled it and if you redo that again then it will ask you to remove the system uh, UI tuner app so I will show you what are the basic features of that actually you can customize your U system UI themes etc mostly uh, status bar color appearance do not disturb and navigation bar option etc but uh, also if you go into settings you will find uh, an another uh, option if you swipe from left to right you will find out uh, a display or a menu like thing which we find which we don't find uh, easily often often in our previous versions of cyanogen mod and this feature is only available in android 7 or cm14 for now so you can see that we have the direct uh, access to the display notification sound app storage etc unlike this you can go through you can swipe or you can search your options through here or you can uh, go through this side uh, side menu which we will call a side menu now about the various other features is that the hotspot and the wi-fi is working pretty much good you can see the wi-fi is connected and we have an hotspot option that is unable to and also the other features which are if you go into settings and you will find an option called as users where you can add more than one users if you want your device to be used by more than one person you can add another user or you can just simply go into the guest mode and also if you want uh, you you want to have root access to your phone just go into developer option and in that you can see there is an option called as root access just uh, it will be pre-selected as disabled just go and reselect the apps and adb after you have done that you are 
phone will get the root access now next when you install this ROM uh, you won't be able to access the SD card in your device so for that you have a separate option now you can change that just uh, go into your general settings of ES file manager and in that general settings now you will see the access mode just change it to the root access mode so after you have done that you will be able to access your external storage uh, internal storage and uh, USB OTG supports etc and also the battery if we are talking about the battery the battery charges too fast and it is pretty much good the fast charging option is enabled and you have the direct option for the battery saver mode from the notification toggle but also the drainage of the battery is also pretty much fast if you are a heavy user then the battery will drain within two hours i can i can guarantee that because i have used uh, this phone for uh, just for about two hours and i was uh, doing a pretty much of heavy use of this mobile phone and also about the sim card the sim card is detected i haven't one put in this in this device uh, but i don't know about the geo sim because i haven't tried any geo sim and put uh, into the eureka device so if any other sim card yes it will be detected and uh, you can enjoy the 4g also okay now let's talk about the cons now the first con i would like to talk about is the camera feature now in this camera you can click pictures and uh, save it in your gallery so if you can see i have clicked a picture over here let's assume we have taking a picture now you can see that it has been saved in the gallery but when you try to do a video recording the video recording option just records it's it shows that the video is getting record over that you can see the timing of the recording but when you stop it the video recording is not saved into the gallery it just shows you the image which you have taken last image that you have taken in your phone so the video uh, feature is not still available in this mo mod and i hope so that it will get into uh, updates with the in the future now the second con i would like to talk about is the battery issue now the battery drains very quickly if you are a pretty much a heavy user over that uh, for uh, light users which uh, who just use for calling purpose or uh, medi uh, medium core gamers they can use this uh, mod over the device as a daily driver but for heavy users you see if uh, by i have charged it yesterday but i haven't used it for so far and but but just with a little usage of this phone the uh, battery has dropped from 24 percent to approximately 8 percent now and it's running on low battery so as i told earlier the battery charging is fast but also the drainage is also uh, pretty much fast so you can solve this issue by installing various other kernels that are available for cm14 i have installed one but uh, i don't find any improvement in the battery the battery still drains uh, pretty quickly but you can turn on the battery saver option it will remove all the basic animations and uh, it will just extend the life of your battery and it actually works the uh, battery of the uh, device gets extended you can use the device for more than two hours or, or whatsoever another drawback of this cm14 is it's not a major one but a minor one is that you cannot enable the on-screen navigation button for this uh, mod because the option isn't available within this mod up till now so we can expect a future update which will give us the option for enabling the uh, on-screen navigation button because on-screen navigation button has its own uh, feature you can see in system UI tuner uh, in others you can see that enable split uh, screen swipe gesture that means when the on-screen navigation button is enabled and you just hold the recent button and swipe up you will get the recent tabs which we will be able to use so for uh, that this feature is given but we aren't provided with that feature in the first place so we can expect the updates in the future so this was it for the cm14 mod developed by hidesh sharma and overall i would like to say that the rom is pretty much smooth you can see the there is no any lag uh, while using any app the uh, app doesn't get stuck or boot uh, or gets uh, you know hang around because the uh, the rom is developed pretty much or you can say it's built pretty much uh, in a good way 
but the only issues are the basic issues which can be solved with the future updates and i have asked ridesh uh, sharma on the facebook that whether we will give uh, will we be getting any future updates for cm14 that he told that yeah they will be providing a uh, uh, future updates for the cm14 mod so we can expect uh, cm14 updates uh, very pretty much soon so thumbs up for that and uh, this was it for the video and uh, if you want to get any future updates from this channel just hit the subscribe button below and if you like this video or this would help you just hit the like button below and if you want me to do any other uh, any other or try out any other rom which are uh, available for our eureka device just comment down below i will try to provide or just try to do each of those uh, possible as soon as possible so thanks for watching guys see you until next time